What's up folks, Assalamualaikum. It's your boy Naz over here and today's video I'm going to show you a little bit about the brisket and the light, little finer intricate details of it. We're going to cut it, we're going to rub it. Yeah, let's go. You know, you got a lot of type of steers out there. You got Brahmin steers, we got Angus steers, we got Charolais steers from France, we got Wagyu steers from Japan. There's a lot of type of steers out there. Each of these steers, they, they got fat marbling that are different. All right, so some, some are marbled at one, two, three, all the way up to 10. Wagyu being the pinnacle of 12 score, and it goes up to an A5 score. So again, these are really intricately marbled like crazy, but for the barbecue that we do, we need something for a score of a four and above. And that is because I'm cooking 12 to 14 hours a day. And for that period of time, and it's gonna be hit by a lot of heat, I need a lot of fat to keep that meat moist. Moist. Bria Brothers BBQ uses Angus beef only and above. And that marble score probably goes from like three, four, and above. Nothing lower than that. And we use the best. That's Beard Brothers BBQ for you. Just quality. So our Angus cows, they come from Australia, from places like Victoria. These are all steer countries. They're big and they're good. That's why we love it. So the meats that we get from Australia, it is halal certified. And Jakim themselves actually go to Australia to check on the process over there. So when it comes into Malaysia, it's all halal certified. It's got the stamp on it and it's safe, inshallah. In general over here, when we get our meats from Australia, from the time of slaughter to the time it gets here to Malaysia, it takes about two weeks. From the time of slaughter to the time they arrive, which is good. It's a standard thing all throughout. It's, uh, it's in hotels, everywhere else in Malaysia, same thing. If you're eating Australian beef, it's about two weeks. And it's good. You let it age a little bit to get all those flavors in. You get that nice, intense beef smell. When you age it, and you age it well, under good conditions, under safe conditions. That's what we do. Before we do that, glove up. Now, I love to just glove up one hand. The reason why I do this is because on my other hand, where I'm using the knife, I love to use the knife and I love to feel my knife. I love to feel where the knife is going. I love to know how my knife is handling and how it feels on the meat. Now, use a boning knife. Boning knives are good because of how it's shaped and how it can glide along the little contours of the briskets that you're going to be dealing with. So, knives, keep it sharp. The brisket has two parts to it, two muscles to it. You got the point. This is the point over here. And here we go. That's the flat. And you got this really nice marbling behind over here. Again, the quality of the steer is what you want to go for before you start doing briskets. So you want to see a nice, nice amount of marbling. All this fat, we're going to trim all this fat off all the way down because you don't really need that fat cap. This, this fat is useless actually. It doesn't taste that good anyway. And it doesn't render that well anyway. It's always good to plan before you trim off. Now you have to remember, it's going to stay in the smoker for about 12 to 14 hours. There are going to be parts and you can't escape these. There are going to be parts that are a little bit more burned than the others or a little bit more dry than the others. You want to eliminate those parts by trimming it off. Now with this brisket over here, it's quite, you know, it, 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 it's got quite, quite a hefty weight on it. It's got some nice muscle on it, nice muscle cap, but you want to get rid of the parts that's gonna dry out fast. So parts like this over here, you can see that it's quite lean and quite thin. 
you want to keep the thick part. I'm gonna put this towards you guys. Show that the lean parts over here. I'm just gonna kind of follow the brisket. So that's gonna go off, that we're gonna go. Now make sure that you keep your knives nice and sharp. All I had to do is just go one swipe and that was it. And that, my friends, is how you do the front part over here. This, you can use it for your burgers. You can use it to mince. You can use it for shepherd's pie. You can do a lot of stuff with it. Now the same with this one over here. This is part of the lean part. This is a flat part. You also want to get rid of this over here because that's gonna dry out because it's thin. It's relatively thin compared to what you have on the other side. So again, you kind of want to take this and go down there. Then you have a nice round brisket. Now that we've done this side over here, trimmed it nicely, we want to get rid of all these axes that we're not going to use. All right, I'm done with the flat and the point. Beautiful piece of meat that we have over here and we're gonna rub it right now. Rub is pretty simple. You use what the Texans use, which is basically salt and pepper. So equal parts. If you do 100 grams salt, you do 100 grams of pepper. Same thing, you're gonna mix that in again. One hand's gonna be holding the raw material, the meat. One hand for the dry ingredients. I love to feel my food. That's just how it is with me. You do you, I do me. This brisket over here is about four kilos, four to five kilos over here. Big boy. Take a handful and you wanna sprinkle it evenly all around. Now, I would go light on the flat end and as you gradually come up to the point end you get heavy on the rub because the point end is thick you just don't you just don't want too much salt on the uh, on the uh, on the flat end so the flat end nice and light You want to keep it nice and light, nice and equal. All right, then we go heavy on the point end. Just a little bit. Make sure you do the sides as well. The sides over here. Never forget the sides. A lot of people forget the sides and you don't have that nice bark on top. And that, my dear viewers, is how we rub and trim a brisket. All right, I'm done trimming, I'm done rubbing the brisket. It's time to smoke it. You watch it on the next vid, okay? If you like that video, please give a like, subscribe, share the love. If you got any comments for me, you got any advice for me, which I would really love to listen to, put it down in the comment section below. Until next week, I'll see you soon, all right?